so let's talk about um, that collaboration thing you mentioned, Michael. Uh, there are so many cross-disciplinary problems that are solved by scientists in different disciplines working together. How do you teach that collaborative skill in the classroom where people who are out of a particular expertise are emboldened and empowered to say, you know, I can help with that. I can, I can deal with this slice mm -hmm. of the problem. Well, that's something we think about a lot in the research community because in research now, the problems are so complicated that no single person, no matter how smart they are, no matter how well educated they are, can figure out something like global climate change or the world financial meltdown. You have to have people who have different kinds of expertise, who can talk to one another without a Tower of Babel problem, who can work together to put the elephant together where one person has the tail and one has the leg and one has the trunk. And in the classroom, I think a powerful method for that is a kind of jigsaw pedagogy, where you've got a curriculum that gives each student a piece, and the students have to collaborate to figure it out, because they each have a different part of the information. Does that work in your experience, Michael? Uh, absolutely, and, and uh, certainly I do a tremendous amount of team, uh, teamwork in my classrooms. Uh, some of that's practical. Uh, when we do labs, there's just not enough space or enough equipment. So they have to work in teams, but, uh, but I generally have kids sitting in teams, working in teams, um, and, and the collaboration can certainly be taught. Uh, they're not natural skills sometimes for, for all students, especially students who are, um, are raised in a home where social skills aren't really practiced every day and, and the norm. But we can certainly value those, and, uh, and actually, um, as part of, the, part of their, the student's assessment and as part of their valuation, uh, I, I evaluate their teamwork skills. Okay? It's not quite as cut and dry as whether you know exactly you know, uh, what molecules are involved in the photosynthetic process, but, uh, but it's certainly something we can value, something we can, we can put, uh, put a formal value on, and it's something that we need to demonstrate too. And, and what I mean by that is that um, is oftentimes teachers kind of get in their own classroom and they do their own thing without modeling that kind of collaboration between other adults that, that students need to see. They need to see that we are working together uh, and how we do that. I think the, the relationships among the adults in the building is actually uh, perhaps just as important as the relationship amongst the students 